For this project, I'm building a kennel for my dog Cooper using some 1 inch square tubing and some 1 by 1 inch angle iron, and that's 3 16 inch, inch thick. Also, going to use some flat bar, 1 and a quarter inch flat bar, and that's also 3 16 inch thick. Um, and I'm just cutting all the pieces here to make a two and a half foot tall by two foot wide and three foot long rectangular box or frame that later I'll use expanded metal and wood um, on the outside. This is the end of the each end where the door will go on in the back and then I'm going to weld those rectangles and then attach them with the bars on the, the one by one bars on the bottom and the angle iron on the top so the roof or, or the, of the kennel will be wood and that's what the angle iron is for for that wood to fit inside. I purchased this right angle clamp and this is the first time I've used it. I usually just use the magnets and I had to put pieces of wood under there to make everything uh, line up so I decided to put it flat on the table and use the clamp upside down which seemed to work a lot better. I will probably still use this but only in that like in that configuration upside down seemed to work a lot better. Grind down the ends flat so I can attach the bars across to make the rectangular shape and here's where I'm trying to square everything up which did take quite a while because it's so many angles and pieces and I put that bar across just to make sure the measurements were correct all the way around once I was satisfied that it was relatively square I went ahead and welded all the, all the uh, corners Like I said, the two ends were put together with those miter cuts and then the bars are just straight across. So this is upside down now and the angle, angle um, pieces are being welded in only on the one side so that the wood could sit uh, nice and flat against the bar. I measured down 13 inches which ended up with a 12 inch space to separate where the expanded metal and the wood are going to go. I thought it was a good distance and an, an easy number to work with uh, one foot. Once I got all the angle put in that the wood could go against and then uh, I could drill holes in there and then screw in the pieces I had to on the bottom put the bar so that the wood would have something to be against on the bottom. Now the bar here that I'm welding all the way across is for the expanded metal to come against and then I could later weld it to that piece. Also the bar on the top and then later eventually all the way around. I thought that would be a stronger and better looking um, finish with the bar all the way around for the expanded metal to attach to. That way if the dog pushed on it, it's not going to go anywhere. This project was a lot of welding. It was um, quite a few hours of welding, which meant quite a few hours of grinding. Here I'm putting together the door. The door of course was a little smaller than the rectangle on the end, and then I cut the flat bar pieces to go all the way around. Ground all that down, which in hindsight I'm not sure I would have ground it down um, if I did it again, but it looks okay. Since I had enough, um, I was worried I didn't have enough flat bar, so I went back here and, and finished the pieces because I did have enough. I just uh, wanted to make sure my measurements were correct. Once I got all the welding done, I ground it down. Not all the way. I didn't want the welds to be completely gone, but I wanted them to look um, a little more smooth. So I went with the 
uh, grinding wheel and then again with the flap disc I think I just used 60 grit I didn't take it down to anything really fine here's back to the door this is a piece of expanded metal that was left from a kennel I had built a couple years ago it's kind of it's not difficult to cut just the um, wheel wants to catch on the next piece so it's just a matter of keeping control of the uh, angle iron once I had it all cut I set it in the door and with my MIG welder just started with the corners and got it all um, tacked in there and then I welded every single um, end piece all the way around and I wanted the diamond pattern to all be in the same direction all the way around the kennel because I thought it would look funny if it's the, the diamonds were up and down on one piece and uh, left and right on the other piece and I just I didn't want that I wanted it to be all in one direction so pretty much I just cut more pieces of the expanded metal placed them in where I had welded all the flat bar around and welded in the expanded metal to those pieces and I welded every single diamond shape or diamond piece and end all the way around so I, I think it was it's pretty strong and it's pretty it, it'll last and it's not gonna move on you or or anything like that and these welds since they're behind that piece you know you can't see them and I think that turned out rather well. Here's what the expanded metal looks like. Um, it comes in a 4 by 8 sheet and it's much easier to cut uh, when it's a whole piece like this and not just uh, weird angles like you saw on the other piece. And there I'm putting the back piece on. So back to the door. I'm measuring here where the hinges will go and I just bought some you know relatively cheap hinges that um, only have two screws in each hinge or on each side and once I got it measured and drilled out I tapped it uh, with uh, I, I believe this is a number six tap and then I just put screws directly into the um, door to attach the hinge and that worked really well because there's not a whole lot of space there maybe I left I left I left about a quarter inch all the way around so I shimmied this all up square the way I wanted it attach the hinge to the door and now I'm just marking where the hinges are and then I put the hinges and lined them up and made the holes into the frame and then I tapped, or tapped the holes on the frame and then attached the hinges to it and it's directly into the, the metal itself and it worked rather well. So in order to close the kennel and lock it you have to have something to do that with so I just took some of the flat bar and put two pieces together and just rounded the edge or rounded one end and uh, I'm gonna drill a hole into it and that's a place you could put a lock or a um, I, I just put a piece of um, bar through there around stock that I had bent so it doesn't just come out um, a carabiner would work or you know any anything that to lock the kennel that would suffice So I just grabbed a relatively large drill bit and, and put a hole through both pieces. Here's where I'm marking where I want those pieces to go and lined them up with the magnets then welded, welded them on. I also took a piece of 3 16th inch round stock and bent it in a half moon shape and welded it on and this was so you could open the door more easily just have a a little hook that you could stick your finger in there and pull the door if you needed to and that, there you go that's what it, the idea is there 
So moving on now that the metal work is relatively finished, I moved on to cutting all the boards. Cut quite a few um, one by fours. They didn't exactly line up left to right, um, so I had to cut a few down or, or rip a few down in the middle there. Um, here I'm measuring where each board will go so that I can um, mark holes to drill into and uh, attach these with screws. As you can see, the middle piece is just a little smaller than the left three and the right three. And I think that looked okay. I, I, I was happy with the way it turned out. So after I marked all the pieces of wood, I just kind of eyeballed where the center was and, and drilled a hole. Um, so it'll be one screw on the top, one screw on the bottom. Here I just used a bigger drill bit to countersink the holes um, so that the screws set further in and the dog won't get caught on them or catch any fur on there. So I decided to prime the kennel first and then I went with a moss green color um, because this Cooper is my bird dog so I thought the moss green was a, a cool color for him. There you go. I sanded each piece of wood and this is just pine one by four that I cut down uh, using uh, Danish oil uh, cherry um, color to um, I think it would complement I think it complements the green rather well and I put two coats of that oil on each side and then um, you wipe off the excess the lighting's not really good for you to see the roof I apologize for that but uh, you get the idea there and I pretty much had to do some yoga to get these uh, <laughs> boards attached in there but that's how it, how it turned out for the bottom I cut a piece of remnant carpet that I got from the carpet store relatively cheap um, for him to have a nice soft spot to lay lay down on Right. And please leave a comment. And if you build your own dog kennel, I'd like to see it. Thanks. Thanks.